Now, I know what you're all wondering is, hey, it's 2018 now. What, what do we have look, to look forward to from the Overwatch team? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, it is your boy Goldie. I just wanted to make a quick response video with regards to the developer update. Happy New Year from the Overwatch team. So in this video, Jeff goes into talking about how Hero 27 is in the works and there's been more done to test, to play around with. Um, he can't really tell us too much detail at this point in time. And in regards to the release date, that's not as important to him as what it is for the hero to feel right and balanced and made correctly. So he'd rather focus on the quality versus, you know, just quantity of heroes just forcing one out after the other. I think certainly Doomfist was a big wake up in regards to that since he's kind of an underperforming hero. He sort of feels a bit half worked on <laughs> so it's good that hopefully the next hero will be a little bit more solid and hopefully when he says it's a hero we need perhaps it's a tank that would be great or another healer more for me feels a bit more of a dps than a healer maybe i'm wrong what do you guys think let me know down in the comments below um and i think what else did he say he talked more about loot boxes from the players is we wish you would add more content content to the base non-event loot box and coming up very soon, um, hopefully sometime this month, will be a ton of new content into that base loot box that should feel really great. You don't have to worry about it being time limited behind any event that will be available, you know, from, from here forward, you'll always be able to have access to that in Overwatch. Um, but he's gonna add more sort of skins and other cosmetics to the base loot boxes. So not the like, time limited holiday loot boxes just to the base game you'll have more things which is all right i guess um and also he's talking about how the happy new year chinese new year event's going to be on soon as well as the overwatch uprising event where there'll be you know a chance to buy any of those dance emotes that you may not have had last year to be honest i think those dance emotes should be put in the base game because i think they're absolutely brilliant and i've heard that quite a few um overwatch role players yes they exist um use those dance emotes so there's that um he went in to talk about how there's going to be a new map put into overwatch blizzard world it's going to be fantastic we're going to release blizzard world very soon and I think that map is one of our best. Not only is it a gorgeous map with tons of great Easter eggs in it, but we're also trying a lot of different things with the gameplay in certain areas of how we handle the level design. It's going to be a hybrid map, and it sounds really beautiful the way he describes it. He mentions that there's going to be quite a few Easter eggs put into it. Um, excuse me if you saw, heard a horn go outside. Um, Jeff also went in to mention that any players in competitive play who are diamond rank and above will no longer have a performance based SR associated with them, which kind of sucks for the lower end of players such as myself. <laughs> um, so basically the, the update in, a, in essence is cosmetics, cosmetics, more cosmetics, a new hero and maybe ranked changes. So what, what we're actually missing is clarifications on what is punishable through the report system, actual ranked improvements, and mercy and junk rat fixes. Great, Jeff. To me, it just feels like they they came back from holidays and they're sort of just talking about what they're already working on, where they left, you know, 2017 at. I was had to think for a second. Is it what years? <laughs> um, yeah. So it, it just feels like they just. They don't really have an update, but they needed to make a video, so they just talked about what they were working on before they went on holidays. <laughs> yeah. So, basically, in a nutshell, breaking news. There is no breaking news. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to not get the impression that they were endlessly procrastinating on everything related to competitive. The removal performance space SR was something that they did at the 11th hour, which probably amounted to someone taking five minutes to change a value in a configuration file or small script. There are a, a small handful of updates that we got over 2017, which were similarly very low effort. I just feel like they don't want to dedicate any resources to competitive at all. I mean, back at Gamescon and even BlizzCon, it sounded like they even thought that they were 
they didn't really know where that they were going and by the looks of it they still have nothing absolutely nothing I don't understand how they can ignore all this with Overwatch League happening. They want to have a competitive league, but not a competitive mode for the game? Huh. Anywho, it all goes down in the comments section, so please go ahead and let me know your thoughts. I'd love to chat with you guys. I will see you all in the next video. If you did like this video, please be sure to go ahead and like the video. It helps me out tons. Uh, it costs nothing as well. <laughs> um, and if you could subscribe for more videos, I think that's it. Okay. I love you guys. Bye guys. See you tomorrow.